save searches are nested under the save searches tab, which is this magnifying glass icon. Save searches are best stored within personal or other structured folders. I have a folder here called Cassie searches, which I'm going to click on and it will highlight blue. I will then click the new search button. Save searches require a number of parameters, the first being a name. For the purpose of this, I'm going to call this test search, but we would advise that you choose something more meaningful. You then have to designate an owner. You have the choice to make your search public, which means that your search can be seen and interacted with by anyone who has access to your workspace. Or you can make the search private to yourself by clicking the me button. This means that no one in your team will be able to see or interact with your search. Even if you do share it, they will get an error saying they do not have permission to view it. And this will have to be changed to public before you can share it. You then have to add the conditions of your search. For example, if I wanted to search for all documents which were marked as relevant, I could search for the relevance field. In this workspace, it is review relevance. I'll click that and I will choose the operator any of these and then select relevance. So I'll double click relevance and it will move this choice to the right hand side. I will then click apply. And we can see that the review relevance any of these relevant condition has been added. We can then go to the fields tab and we can add fields to the results. These are the default on the right. On the left hand side is where you can add more. To QC our search, I will add the relevancy field so we can see. You can see it's at the bottom here. I will click save and search. Let the search run. And if we scroll, we can see that all of these documents in the results are marked as relevant, which is what we would expect to see.